way they've been playing at this tournament and in the last few months. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the absolute last time we see this envious roster at its current formation uh, playing any tournament again. I I'm absolutely like, disappointed with them. I think they're sick of it. And that interview with Scream says it all. The fact they don't even know what's going on right now. Yeah. They said it works in practice. It works online. When they get to the tournament, it all falls apart. I, I think they're done with this lineup. I'm done with it. And uh, I, I feel like it's coming to its logical conclusion in this tournament. I don't see them making the final 16. And if they are going to, they really need to show it this game. They can dominate the weakest team in the tournament right now, Flash Gaming. They have to win this, man. It just can't go any other way. Absolutely. I mean, remember that Flash, as Richard mentioned on the desk, is actually a replacement team. Indeed. Actually qualify for this event. Pistol underway. CT signed for Flash on Inferno as well. Just to know, why are NBA's playing Inferno when Flash have played this twice in the tournament so far? Sure, they've lost, but it's a one that they're obviously going to be comfortable. I guess you do get information as to what Flash will do. Oh, yeah, and at this stage, maybe you shouldn't even be worried about the map. You should be the much stronger team here. Six at work and things up as he jumps out of the apartments. Nice work with the Glock there, but Flashbang's coming through. Equal exchanges for now. Screen doing what he can, but attack surely gets dropped here, and it looks like Everest will be picking up the pistol case and summon out on the rotations. They have got a kit to work with as Scream gets the plant down. Important plant. Happy going to try to go to his old tactics of lurking after the post plant as well. Sixers got pit covered off with Screaming across fire and happy if he sleeps out from boiler right now. Wouldn't be perfectly positioned and easily so oh my goodness, please. Can't get HP. Just one bullet. We'll take him down. Good shot from Case. Taps away at Scream himself. Protect to 73. He'll continue on. No armor. Does have the kits. Has a smoke as well. If he can isolate this to a one-on-one, -on -one, he could try and take advantage of that. He's going to try it anyway. Remember, he's on 22, so it wouldn't take much to take him down. He's still going to hold it. He's going to hold it all. They went in with the knife, but Sixer hits the shot anyway. Whew, a little bit close for comfort there, but Envious with a sloppy exchange at the very start. Trade spy will come through for Flash Gaming. And we'll see CZ Desert Eagles come out. Kays is the Warper. He will be not purchasing anything more than the upgraded pistol on the envious side one ak-47 six with the galil and three mac 10s that is a common trend for envious they do focus a lot on my mac 10 and the mp9 on the ct side they'll go towards banana try and bully their way in here they cannot afford to lose this round i'll be crushing to the morale as rpk throws some interesting flashbangs there that's actually quite a little nifty one bounces just behind the wall and to run around the corner molotovs at the sandbags they know that banana at least the top of it is clear for now and they can fully execute if they so wish Quite, can't quite land. Shot to Summer of Cursa. Bomb heads back toward A instead. Lovey will take up position in the A site, but be entirely alone for now. Summer will start his rotation back toward the arch. The wrap potential certainly there if they want to push through the arch and head back to B, but that's doing so with very little information, and they're going into a stack, so good kill, importantly, for Happy. Carso will therefore take position at Tree. That'll catch them off when they run in from CT, should he not be caught first from anyone walking in from the banana itself, and he was a little bit worried about that. Didn't have his attention turned. XMS is able to take him down easily. Checks it on the way by. Oh, looks like the round is... Almost over, Matthew. There will be one player remaining for Flash Gaming. That's Lovey as he goes down. Three kills picked up towards the end, and it will be... Oh, they went out on the minor. Um, yes, and it was an Same. abysmal performance, similar to what we saw yesterday from them, in fact. Where they just look lost. They looked very lost. And remember that that previous major, it just three spots available from the European minor, and they were fourth. They didn't even get the bonus position that was due to their roster shuffle in the first place. I'll, I'll talk over this round. It's a full eco. Uh, it's just bizarre. You've got... Double major champion in the form of Happy, right? And Scream, one of the most celebrated aimers in the entire game. RPK, one of the biggest veterans CSGO has to date. And up and coming names like XMS, who actually seems to be getting better and better as the months go by. And Sixer, uh, not the world's best orper, but a safe pair of hands. They should be doing so much better than what they currently are. It just doesn't add up. And like I said, the Scream interview comes in, he goes, oh, you, what's going wrong here? What's the, what's the problem? I don't know. It's like, it just doesn't fill me with confidence. It's not good enough. And uh, backing they have and everything. Really prestigious organ eSports. You think it all come together. They've got the, everything available to them. But for this round at least, as I finish my round there, there will be uh, four players, make it three, surviving so far as the bomb's planted. Lovey picks up yet another kill. He's down to 660. They will not be able to win this round. This is, uh, this 
swings on. Not the greatest of shots, but he does get it done. Three to zero. And we'll see what with Flash Gaming can get it done in the first going round here. Like, it, 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 it's. There's always a, an argument for it. If you do win that round of the Deagles, it's amazing, but when you're the underdog, I always prefer just to make sure I have full guns available to myself and that uh, first gun, round six, uh, trying to take down the Orpa here. That's a really brave move by him. He's obviously crouching. He's lined up the shot already. When he stands up, he can pre-fire, essentially, and hoping that he blows off the head of the Orpa, but missed the shot, and down he goes. Didn't have to take that jewel. Wasn't required, but there it is. So Kay's posted toward the arch, we'll watch top middle. But no sooner do we get his view, the smoke lands in front of it, so he's got to back off for now. XMS out live, or excuse me, out the library. From apartments jumping away from the pit, so interestingly enough, there's no one in pit, but tries to just get out and get information to clear top middle and the wall. So, different approach to it. finds anyone, but he does get position in RPK. He's going to get Summer as well. Formerly fancy one inside of Banana. He was the only one because he was so deep, and they may be aware of that as well. Based on his positioning, yes, they are. They're certainly going to rush it right in, expecting that they were going for the four-man rotation toward A. And they've anticipated correctly. They've got a smoke down. Course is locked out. Tagged as well through that smoke because his tracer's well and truly visible. Now, that's the bomb being planted. Good smoke's deployed here, but no utility. Well, there's a Molotov, I beg your pardon. So RPK throws Weaver towards Coffins, which I'd imagine would be the most logical place to throw it or towards CD spawn as you can see at the very bottom of banana we do have happy I believe of course and uh, that's a good shot from Caves but it'll be held at bay by the Molotov they'll have to focus towards the ruins position at this stage can they find the flags I'm not so sure and it'll be up to Caves to try and find the opener but XMS with that MAC-10 he caused a lot of damage not many helmets available to the CT he should find one more kill they're shooting each other map as they do go down and the war cry comes out from Envious and as they are 0 2 right now, it's around for the French side. And we'll see Deagles and no armor come out for Flash Gaming here. Should almost certainly be a 5 0. That'd be seemingly more vocal than what we saw yesterday it's as well. Be, it? <laughs> yeah, this Absolutely. Point, you, yeah, let's say you've got nothing to lose. You have, you've got the tournament to lose, but uh, it, this, he just has to go all in. So well, that was happening, if, right? If they think they're lost, he's the one that needs to lead them. That's his job, literally, so. Good to see him at least taking the helm today. Perhaps says that they've. Do you remember their mentality? This lineup was first formed, right? And they played against G2 online. They beat, right? Smoked it, them. It beat them. We're like, wow, this team can actually do something. But ever um, since then, there hasn't really been much at all. To be ever. fair, that was on. I think Cobblestone and Spring dropped like 34 frags. Yeah, that's right. right. But yeah, it still gave us hope that, okay, hang on. We don't just have a top French team and then the leftovers. We could still have two decent rosters from this. But these yeah, guys have. Uh, I guess I, I'm not, I don't even think I'm exaggerating. I think this will be the last big tour we see these guys play and at least with this five man lineup I don't see it ever coming to a tournament again it feels like they're checked out mentally and uh, a bunch of French players keen to get it there's yeah. another French revolution coming perhaps so they depend I don't I think if G2 do well this tournament they won't necessarily change anything but Envious almost certainly will happy with the second pick of the round one to open up site again they're going to go away from pit so they're shying from that position to get out of apartments just to get vision inside of the site Okay, he's manages to get one back on XMS. Meanwhile, Scream has cleared beat bomb is there. Plant comes in. Round's certainly done. Absolutely. Happy gets the penultimate kill there. It's gonna be Casa. Dead now, of course, as he drops now in CT spawn. Five to zero. Envious will get to dictate the pace now and just have a lot more freedom than what. Sixer, AWP. Standard position, but no one going to be peeking on the flash side. In fact, they're going to start off with three inside of Banana with the double up setup. And they're going to try and get aggressive with it. Unfortunately, Case is found. Oh, oh, oh. is as well. And they've kind of been falling off of this position. Excuse me, it wasn't Case that went down, it was Karsta, but falling off of this because B is wide open, locked the doors. Envy's got the sight. Yeah, big attack will be able to do much with this. Wonderful shot there from Sixer. Doors are officially locked. No one can leave. And that's Case will have to fall back. And fall to Happy, who's lurking. Yeah, of course he is. That's what he does best, man. A little late, but he'll still get a kill from it. They took the site very convincingly, so I don't think he has to worry about that. The CT side, that's not even enough to get a full buy. But Summer's gone for an auto shotgun, man. Can you explain this one to me? Have you ever seen anything like it? Uh, I have. 
I don't know that I've seen it to be an amazing decision. No. Okay. Alligator? Indeed. We'll see if that can cause any damage here. Summer with the auto shotgun. Just to note, they have the force ball here. They didn't talk about 2k, knowing they get that I've mentioned 3400 bucks in the next round. But I, I did think it would be near apartments, but I thought it would be like aggressive in apartments. He's actually just sitting down. In terms of the fact that over it, he's got another 400 dollars to give to Summer. Is Summer like a specialist with the auto shotgun? Is that what we're, we're finding out? You never know, I'm a specialist within the Gev, so... That's true, like, you can't be touched with that weapon. Attacker goes down, and now it's all up to K's with the flank. He's gonna take that scream, almost certainly. Might get a double, it's six star! Mm, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, he had a chance to win the round, but that's actually the bomber as well. That could have been a turn on his head. And there was two guns available, AK or AWP, but had maybe gotten that kill. It's all for the best, map because it leaves Summer with the three versus one. He can show us what he can really do with, with the, the shotgun. Weapon. Exactly, yeah, right. Here we go. It was all for a plan. Always oh, not going to do well here. Down he goes. Three, two, one. Oh! I take it back. There it is. No, keep it. Thinking about it. Wants the yeah. <laughs> hesitation, perhaps. No, no. well, that's going to be one kill. You get $900 uh, for each kill of a shotgun, any of the shotguns. Um, we've got three of them in CSGO. Oh, is it four of them? Auto shotgun, sword off, Nova. Max 7 is four. There's four. Who would have thought there's four shotguns? And then there's the op, which, yeah. if you're Kenny S, you use like a shotgun. That's true. So. He can have a chance to win this one. Unfortunately, no kits. He has got a smoke, though. We'll be summoning out, making his way towards the site. He has to hit two pretty outrageous shots to stand any sort of chance. We'll tie him in CSGO, and he just hasn't turned up this tournament whatsoever so far. So we're hoping to see him um, get into the tournament more and more. I'm definitely a fan, and if he does find form, it can be quite the show to watch. So let's see what he can do here as the double orb setup comes out once again for Flash Gaming. Lovely looking to challenge here. Flashbacks come through, and he will be surely taken down here. There it is. Screen finds it. An attacker! Oh, that's XMS pass. He did have the max there. That's, uh, that's actually... We were talking... A little bit early about specialists with the shotguns. XMS does actually like to buy the Mac 10s, even though he has plenty of money there. You can see he's got $6,600. Even though he knows he's going to buy, he's happy to run around the Mac 10 and try and find uh, cheesy frags, if you like. Cheesy frags and make some money doing it. Yeah. Okay, he's going to back off the arch. No oh. utility, but a slow reaction. Got I thought for sure, yeah. Looking tense and timid, perhaps, from Flash. Yeah, like he should be. 100% dead happy, but somehow doesn't get taken down. That's one of the biggest misses of the tournament. We get into round of breaks, the smokes come out, and this is what happy does best. It's what he's famous for, lurking is what this is called. And he'll just try and show that he's got some sort of presence towards there. They shouldn't rotate from the bomb side. With Summer, with that secondary orb, does find one kill. Horrible smoke thrown towards the top of B there. That's going to do absolutely nothing for the CTs. Massive gap as RBK and Co. start to rotate. Man advantage for pretty much the first time since the pistol for Flash. And we'll see if they can capitalize here. Happy has called for the rotations. They will be committing towards a 30 seconds remaining. RBK is going to be the point man here. And he'll be taken down. Didn't check the box right like here. So it's Happy to find a couple of frags, which he will do. Three versus one now. Happy left in the impossible situation with 15 seconds remaining. He can't do it. Grabbing the bomb. Summer takes him down from the library. Seven to one. Anywhere near into contention. So scream. Starts off with the AK happy, taking a different course of approach. In fact, he's gonna get back up toward the kitchen and try and spot into window for any aggression thrown their way, and they may get some as well because attacker's on the stairs, but Scream's already a boiler. Oh, attacker had his back turned. Couldn't catch it in time. Consider himself lucky attacker to get away from that. Absolutely. Well we'll see whether Flash Gaming can string a couple of rounds in a row here. Certainly required as K is in a great position. I'm not sure what the play is here from Envious. Just enjoying themselves running around. K is in front of the smoke there. We'll take that RBK, but they have got full control of the A-bomb site. Nice plant coming through, making sure he gives nothing away. Molotov's towards library, and this is a very difficult retake. Happy as ever, watching the back lines, looking for anyone rotating from the banana side of the map. K's towards quad, and this is looking like a very strong round for Envious. As Happy finds one of the key frags there, Sixer chimes in as well. Three versus two now. Remember, no kits available on these two players. They're going to have to save. They'll have absolutely no money to work with in the next round. They need the AWP. The Famous, not ideal, but at least it's something to take into round number 10. Yeah, better than nothing, I suppose, if we want to be optimistic. But you're right, this was a must-win round. Good kill from Summer to keep himself alive. And the rest, the remaining four. Will all carry their weapons into the next round. Sixer has the AWP on the T side still as well. Not that they're... $1,500 per player. And, um... 
We'll see what happens as Saba has to step up here tremendously. He can't sit back and rest on his laurels here, ladies and gentlemen. He has to get it stuck in at the very start of the round, trying to find that first pick. RPK, he's feeling brave. Goes through the flames and the smoke. Good nade, though. Oh, my goodness. Those CTs just got wrecked. They're going to have the challenge now as the four more subs come through. Kays has been locked in, but he kicks the door down and does go down eventually. But eventually, there will be two opening picks of the CZ. That was not bad at all. Not bad at all. Considering as well they were needed a Molotov in that corner, it had to be put in a situation where it was fight or die. I made it work. So happy back to his old tricks, old tactics, but he might be one upped. Attackers all the way down no, the on the opposing side. It, it, forget timing, he may get the second one. Because they're not going to expect him to be there. He's heard it. Oh, oh, I'm surprised he takes that shot. So much distance. Yeah. They had all day to sneak it behind them. All that does is signal to Happy that, oh, oh, sorry, attacker is there. CZ not known for its great range. And six up misses the first, but nails the second. Lovey goes down. Three versus two. There definitely was a chance to win this round. I guess with some on the AWP, there is still a slight chance. Six of that's... A very interesting move. Happy Body goes down here as well. Uh, you can see Envious aren't really playing properly. I know that sounds a bit strange, but this is not Counter-Strike that uh, I'm really getting very excited about at this stage. Running around one by one into key choke points and now leaving XMS with a uh, difficult task, clutching out two versus one. Needs to be careful. That smoke's dissipated behind him. Seems to have no idea. I'm not sure what he's up to there. And he just lets himself be fully exposed to CT spawn, focusing on walking into the B-bomb site, but he does get it planted, goes down to 60 points of health. Knows the cast has made his way towards ruins, he pretty much gets a killing blow here. Oh my goodness, it was a bit dicey map, but he hits it. And now in a one versus one against Summer. Remember, they didn't really invest too much into this round. Summer has got the kit and the AWP. Actually upgrades for AK-47. They're, they're fired up at least, they are, they're shouting, that's positive signs. Winning a one versus one. They're going to keep their money level, so they'll buy a few pistols, no armor, no armor except for attacker, excuse me, so he goes Deagle armor. But it puts them in a position to buy an extra round of no problem. Four off the start as a result of that four flash gaming toward A, and they'll get aggressive toward Boiler and the wall at top mid. Difficult scenes now. Flash gaming, they can feel this tournament slipping out of their grasp, map. Pistols in hand, and maybe that's enough. Lovey takes down XMS. Good start, but can he convert it to success? Oh, good start, but you're right. They still don't have weapons to work with, and he's got his work and done to get Boiler covered off. Happy still inside of the apartments. At this point, they should be expecting that almost, but the other three head to B. They'll be greeted by equal members, but lesser weapons. Crossfire set. Corso's going to play Fountain with Summer waiting as well, boosted up. It's attacker to rotate around and play off of that. Doesn't need to peek from comp into that set. That allows Scream in a little bit further, goes slow enough. He's able to solve it. Lobby's found Happy, so he did anticipate the lurk correctly. He's got an AK-47, but he's going to get out. Force quickly and runs Summer. Good find on Scream. Still in this with a chance. In fact, still with an advantage. It's 2-2 inside of the site, however, because they're still waiting for Lovey. Case does not need to force the issue. Goes for it anyway, knowing the blind in the ball. And nearly gets 6 or 4 at 9 HP at 54. Lovey has no armor, but that AK is a problem. Oh, they've heard him. Forced forward by the flash to get to coverage at the top of Banana. Molotov out. It will isolate Sixer. He could desperately try and find him in behind New Box. Knows he's there in that direction somewhere. Spots his shooter. Reaping comes out, but RPK's got the angle instead. Love it. Dicey. Good work, though, by Flash Gaming to get the opening picks and make Envious very applause for you as these teams will win out of the tournament, looking very lucky to be Flash Gaming a fair play to them. They came in last minute to replace Tyloo, so it's not that they were prepared for the tournament. I don't think it's their full lineup. It's just been like, guys, you can get to make Thank you for them for filling in the very last moment and uh, this might be their final few rounds here. Looking likely indeed. Smoke. Smoke's down. Both top mid and at the arch. K's decides to play behind them in safety. That's going to allow them to wrap on toward arch, or excuse me, onto apartment side, and rightfully so. Attacker is absolutely dominating. Finally, inside of the pit, they get something working. Remember, they weren't playing there. Attacker with yet another ace, his second in the event. And this one, I would say, very strong for MBS, and so is happy. He's on 16 kills, 6 deaths. And, oh, he does go down to a CZ here, so maybe not as strong as I originally thought. Some of the rounds have been close. 
a flashback towards the middle, allows the AK to peek towards, not the T-steps, but you can look towards the underpass. K is now ready and waiting. He gives the CZ, of course, to XMS. Like we mentioned before, he loves that sort of weaponry. That's where he thrives, it seems. 10 to 2. Flash game, I can't stress enough. They do need to convert us for a victory. Uh, it will be the end of the world if they do lose this round. They did kill five players alive, I believe, with the ace there from Attacker. So, although it wouldn't be ideal, it won't necessarily be double ego. Flashbang for Sixer. Another thrown by Sixer for RBK. I'll put him toward the barrels. Happy continues to look. But not find outside of Boiler. And he'll back off. This time it looks like they'll play a five man unit take toward B. Money is not amazing. The last few rounds have definitely been tighter, including, including that of a win for Flash in the most previous. So three digits if they do lose this, which is why they're leading toward that five man execution. They would be sitting on an eco, and Flash would have a chance to at least close this down, best case, to 10 5. Indeed. 25 seconds, in we go towards that B bomb site. Summer can hear them all scuffling into the bomb site. Once again, they just don't look towards CD spawn. The timing's a little bit off those smokes, Matt, and it could come back to Horn three versus three now. Bomb gets down in a scrappy manner, and Kane's lighting them up with the AK 47. Advantage goes back toward Flash, despite Summer being slow and timid, and making the mistakes of trying to get the right shot. Attacker manages one more. It's all onto RPK. Successful so far as he takes down Kane's, but he's low on XP, and Lovey's got the shot. It will be an eco for Envious, and Flash might have bought themselves a bit of a life in this game. Yes, that was an abomination of a big execution. The fact that they don't, they don't even have the awareness as to when they threw the smoke grenade, running in with their back exposed to CT spawn, where all the CT is going to be, allowing Kays to get two kills. We have no awareness. The flank could be kicking here to the final round of 16 in its current form. This is too many holes to be plugged with not enough time to sort them all out. Won't be the force fight from Envious. Deagles, CZs, flashbangs, but... Uh, I don't think they've necessarily gone all in here. They've stopped themselves about 2k. And uh, Flash Gaming looking to find 10 5 here. So RPK sitting well back, waiting for aggression, which there will be, but not, I think, that carelessly to walk all the way down toward the T stairs without much information. And group and gather for Envious and an additional deep smoke. So two now have been deployed all the way down Banana. Timer on the play, therefore, for Lovey, but he's hoping to be baited as well, perhaps, by Carsa, who sits at the barrels. Eventually, he'll grow tired of that. Retreat further back in. Well, no map control really obtained. They have clear departments, at least, but it looks like they're heading towards Banana eventually. Problem is, CTs are ready and waiting. Lovey in exposed position, though. Well, one boost of his teammate towards uh, wall position. They'll fall back as the flashbacks come through. Incendiary drop to buy them some time and space and maybe some frags as well. Scream of a nice shot that Desert Eagle takes down Bobby and that gives them a rifle. They can start the snowball from this point. The rotations will come through from the CT forces, but no smoke. Deployed for CT yeah, There it is. It comes through and six of a nice shot. And attacker, I feel like he just goes through the smoke and Koshi Shao gets one frag by taking down. Three versus two now. AWP. In the hands of summer, that is not ideal as he misses a shot there. Sixer will try and capitalize, which he will, and it will be a partial by victory for Team Envious. Flash Gaming drop the ball as we go into round number 15. That gives them more optimism. Standard positions XMS toward all middle to watch Boiler. Happy gets up on the ledge to see above the roof into the window. And RPK will hold the station at the T stairs. In fact, no contest toward Banana from either side. Carson forced back by just a single nade and a deep smoke, but RPK not willing to chance and go in early. Continue to tap away or try to. The barrel position. Happy seems to have other ideas, wants back over to his apartments. He's going to go Boiler and XMS will go apartments, so they'll converge. Lovey's got to be ready for this. Lovey! Oh, certainly heard XMS need in his hand. And then Molotov that went in by Happy meant that he couldn't even to try and re-peak. Lovey, good shot on Kays, and he'll just get away. That's fair enough. Trade it out. Get it back to level footing. Go again. 
four versus three. Some are keeping the dream alive somewhat here. Scream will commit towards the B bomb site. It should be planted, no problem at all. But there is an interesting boost coming forward. This could actually pay dividends. We'll see. An attacker has to step up here, blocked by the smoke though. He will drop down. Lovey gets the happy treatment towards top and middle of course watching for the flanks i like this from this is better not rushing the plant waiting for the teammates to come through ascertaining information sexer all hasn't been amazing this one so far misses a couple of shots but nails the last one 12 to 3. cost 500 bucks smoke 300 you do the math as uh that costs 800 there you go i've done it for you Carson has started off by being very aggressive. Goes almost alone, but he's got Lavi over his shoulder. It doesn't matter. Oh, Carson's no. got the kill that pushed down RPK. Gets taken out. Lavi with that shot as he was watching. He realized there was noise. A trampling elephant heading his direction and takes him down quickly. Summer then for has access to the arch. Will they wrap or not? Because they've got library. They've got pretty much everything. Happy is the only one at A. And he's trying to stay quiet and undetected. I think he just barely had the timing right to get past where attacker walked out. The stairwell behind him. Graveyard. Spotted Lovey. Double peak. Damage done. Case couldn't quite do all the damage required, but attacker will awkwardly gets in behind Happy. He'll get the kill. Down to 32. Sixers the lap alive, and he'll just get chipped away at by Summer. And it's 12 to 4, so Flash at least pick up the pistol. They do. That's gonna be. Attacker's the only player with an ace so far. He's high as like. And he has two. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. And there are. Oh, and two. Just confirm that's an ace in one round, correct? An ace in one round, yes, that is correct. Uh, well, I'll get, I'll let Andrews check on that and okay. get back to you. Perfect. Well, Bobby gets the first frag, takes that next MS. Like I said, it's likely they force by him, which they have. CZ will come out. Deagles as well. And it looks like it's going to be a flash gaming round, unless this push towards middle with the flashbang in the hands of six out is successful. He'll flash momentarily. His teammates will all strike at the very same time. Doesn't actually come through just yet. Six still holds on to it. Screen jumping the gun a little bit there. There's the flashbang. And now they'll try and get the pick towards the other bar. So otherwise, it'll work out for them. Nice work by Summer. Happy. The last remaining player now, head armor and the CZ. Summer will collect the bomb. It's Summer, isn't it? He is actually fancy one. Just, just completely rebranded. That is co completely correct. Why, why would you do that? Um, you know why? Yeah, I'm just going to change my name. And I'm going to be sticking with it. I guess if you're going to do it, though, if you were thinking about it before, that, that is when you have to do it. Sure. Well, the force buy doesn't work out. For. Team MBS here, they'll be full eco. It was 12 3 and a half, but looking very likely to be 12 6 now. Flash going out over just yet. You never know, Matt. MBS have been playing some catastrophic counter strikes this tournament, so maybe it could all fall apart. That's a big maybe, but uh, you never know. Ooh, uh, okay, so that's during freeze time. So that's next round, pre pre vote for a timeout. That, that is not how you call the timeouts. Typically not. That, they've used the actual like the matchmaking system there instead of like uh, yeah, the console yeah, games. Yeah, exactly. The, the chat subsequent console games. Yeah, yeah. That, that that shouldn't be happening. Either. So wrap to a stack, and they've realized and killed them all. Fair enough. With all five staying alive, the bomb was NV12, six only for Flash, but they're on the T side and have won the pistol. This will be their first test, heading into that at the first gun round. Absolutely. Matt. Matthew. They've gone for a bit of a bonus round. Yeah, at this point in the game, I wouldn't be aiming to save money. I'm just trying to win the rounds. You might want to upgrade a, maybe even one of those Mac 10s. A bit more firepower available. Lose the round, you're 13 6 down, and MVS will be holding off a very fast approach here. Lavi coming in that Mac 10. Nothing you can do about that. Sixer gets a double, runs out of bullets, so that's the flight of the M4A1S. You do run out very quickly of the old ammunition as there will be a four versus three now case some are an attacker trying to do what they can happy of course okay. kills and gives him his frag they're both players waiting for him three on three we did say map there's still a chance Envious can lose this one, especially when the pistol goes against him, but RPK's in such a fantastic position here. I don't see him dying. All right then, well, it's going to be a three versus two. Scream and XMS in the retake. Of course, XMS has got an MP9. Why not? Why not? This will be problematic for them at this point in time as well. Kit for XMS. And I'm like this, like, uh, I'm not sure we'd see these players again. But, uh... Here we go then. They will be on pretty much fully geared. They get some upgraded pistols. They definitely have the skill to win these sort of rounds. No armor, but 
Deagle sees Eds, it can be enough. Scream feeling the, the heat there somewhat as he will find the first frag. He might even get a double here. Sum up, make sure he doesn't. And it will be four versus four now. RPK down to 32 points of health as some attacks him up as well. And we'll get into the 1 minute 30 sector of the round. They have full banana control, just spamming towards Copper. So I think that they will get a chance, and he will, but uh, RPK strikes and takes him down. This looks like it could be a little bit dangerous now for Flash Game. He's good shot. He's got to reload it quickly oh and gets caught off. Come on. You know the wall's there, sir. He didn't need to fight yet. <laughs> he needed to reload either. He could have at least kept ammunition in his gun until he was in safe. If he did have to fight. So it's attacker and Karsa attacker continuing to be sharp. Another kill. Gets it to a 2-2. Two -two and gets tons of time to plant the bomb. As happy as he made his way through Archon RPK is just behind. Good smoke. That should win the round because now they're committed. They either have to go for the long con through the apartments, and the fact they have no kit means like, they pretty much have to go towards a core position. Now, nice boost, though. I really like that. RPK might be able to find one kill here, but Happy's oh, making a lot of noise. RPK jumps up towards the quad. Time ticking away now. They need to find kills. I think the saving the rifles is to be the best bet. It might not be the most uh, sexy way to play the round, but uh, probably the most efficient. Carson. In the pits. That's the deal with all the angles. Happy's got him against the wall, but Happy can't nowhere nearby. Definitely not worth it. They got plenty of on the T side. Why, why is he losing that AK 47? You can't buy that. We talked about that earlier. Great. With it. the money game. They're forcing yeah. all the time when they shouldn't. Giving away guns in this situation. Not the best economical team, but. RPK will start off toward the apartment, and this time they will have weapons to work with. Sixer on the AWP. K's with one of his own. T side getting slightly more aggressive up toward the top of Alt Middle. Lovey's gotta be careful. Good shot. Sixer, no need to peek that. No flash, even. That's bizarre. He goes around the corner of the AWP blind. No flash, no bullets off the bottom, nothing. Just wanting to take the challenge. And that's gotta be. One of the weirdest challenges I've seen in quite a while. That, that's that, 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 If you normally want to do that, you need to be flashed or Molotov in the bottom, making the terrorists uncomfortable. You can see, really simple kill there for Lovey. This could still fall apart. It's actually 5-0 now in the second half. Oh, Happy picks up the AWP. He's very proficient with the weapon, so should be recovered here. Lovey holds by the broken wall. That can be spammed. If Happy went for a speculative shot. But this could be holding the corner right now, hoping to get one kill and fall back. If we can see that, maybe not. Okay, he takes him down. Calm down, Envy. Let's not get too eager. Flash is apparently in this game all of a sudden. Someone's got the rotations, or they have to save him. Huh? They're not even going, they're not even challenging the B bomb side. This is looking like it could fall apart. I'm sitting looking over there, Adam, right now. The look on their faces is. Uh, they're worried. Well, this is when, as well, they start to crumble, because yesterday when they got worried, they were sloppy on cash. Now they're losing all the weaponry as well. This is shocking. And XMS will they try and get away, but he's got people on either side of him. It, I can't even picture him winning this M4 into the next round. Why is Six challenging that by himself? It, it defies set. I think there was a flash just before we swapped over Maybe, to perspective, yes. but either way, why is he missing the timing? Yeah, that's, that's not the, th the thrower of the flash's fault. Sixer's the one behind the wall in that case that can easily peek off of the flash, not the other way around. It wasn't like he was forced to peek based on a trade or anything along those lines. He just... Yeah, very, very bizarre situation. XMS will get at least attacker down as well as a kill just before. So XMS on your left, Sixer in the are middle. You, are you worried at this point now? I'm getting <laughs> concerned, if I'm completely yeah. honest. I mean, this is... <laughs> It was the CT side on cash that blew my mind as well because they don't work off each other. Yesterday on cash they were playing in the middle of the site, almost killing each other half the time, tripping over flashes and molotovs, no cohesion at all on the defensive side. And the same thing here. Sixer goes out, mistiming a flash, gets taken down immediately. 12 to 9 and presumably 12 to 10. That's when the sweat starts to ensue. Double digits and they haven't posted a single CT round as of yet. These are some of the biggest names in CSGO, up against the weakest team in the tournament who were brought in last minute to replace Tybo Gaming. RPK surely gets his frag, which he does. There's not a chance to win this one. That's a much better flashbang. That's what we want to see. That's the cohesion you need to make that kind of pick that they didn't have before with the weaponry. Five on three. They've managed to at least get something positive going in their favor. 55 seconds remaining, though. You've got to win this round now, MV. This is on a silver platter for you. RPK of the AK-47, XMS burning alive. They've stays on this server for now. 
40 seconds remaining, and I don't see how Flash get into this one. In terms of utility, they've got smokes and flashbangs, but no map control whatsoever. Actually, all the way back in T spawn right now. What's the play here? They're leaving the bomb at B, and I think they're looking for any players pushing second middle apartments and all set summer up towards middle, I believe. He's going in the yard position. He's just trying to find frags, making a lot of noise. The happy almost certainly kills him. Maybe not, but here we go then. And this could be the beginning of the end of the round. It's going to be one player defending, and it will be a victory for Envious, and this bump's come through. Yeah, match needed. So it gets them in the world if they lose this round, but it uh, would be the best. Yeah, both teams actually would be in similar situations. If Flash lose this, it would take one more round to knock them down completely, but it would also mean that we would get to 15 at that point. And they'd be on the eco. In doing so. It's an extremely important round for Flash if they want to make this comeback a reality. And Lovey will work together with Carcer to try and take over the apartments. Attacker's already cleared from Boiler. Lovey will now take over the stairs instead from him. So they want to overcommit at this point in time to the A side. XMS is inside of the A with RPK at Pits. So they've got a crossfire set to watch quad side scream there as well. Scream waiting behind the pillar, hoping not to be seen. Oh, missed timing on a flash. He's exposed himself all too easily. XMS does at least get the trade, but another misthrown flash from RPK. Only XMS gets his vision back. Will strike when they least expect it. Summer responds, but not for long. So he's got him down, and RPK's got the round. So that should be it now, hopefully. Put six on the AWP once again. I'll have a look at the initial setup here. Scream heads towards the top of middle. And four now this time. Flashes out. Nades come in. Just to push those T's back, and that could be K's burning there. The flames just about avoid him. He gets lucky. Usually that's going to spread that extra little distance. He'd be in a world of trouble. He just barely gets out of the vision of Sixer. Fades through the smoke. So last chance for Flash. They lose this, like I said, it's 15 for Envious, and no money for them to work with. It would be. A third round loss bonus, so a bomb plant could negate that, but even then it's desperate. Cars up, smoking towards the arch side there, sits with the first frag, homing in on match points here. Just to reiterate, whoever loses this map is going home. Scream for players in front of him, good flashbangs used, and Lovey on the pallet right now. Scream surely goes down, but he actually manages to transfer the attack and find almost three kills. Three versus two now, we have one player towards the pit, and Happy in the garbage position, top of middle. This is pretty much for the game. Let me just do this. There'll be no money left on the Flash Gaming side. Happy smoked out of position, spammed some bullets and changes. Falls back to the defensive line of the arch. Six are behind barrels on an AWP. With clear vision down to him. Double peak. They want to trick. How does he not? I thought he hit that. Summer just wrecks him cleanly, and now that's going to open up B site. Rotation desperately in play from Happy, but he's not quite in position. The smoke's down as well. Oh, good. Uh, it's it's sent as well, good damage. Good lord. I bet that's a lot more damage yeah. than I thought. I thought he'd get away with about 50 or just above, but he gets 36 HP, and that gives a big opportunity to envy. Two Molotovs, as you point out, for both Summer and Attacker to work with. Absolutely. So. They just want to try and stay alive, delay things as long as possible. Drop a Molotov maybe about now, I would say. And uh, see if they can just hold them at bay here. Good shot by Attacker. Happy left in the two versus one. Definitely get that from the top down. Now it might not even matter. Attacker keeps the dream alive after losing those first big winning of the game, which they still can do. It's an eco for Team Envious. So we are far from done. You're right, we've heard much more from Envious who are on the far side of the room. They've just got to keep their morale up at this point, haven't they? So their money should be okay, so they take an eco here just to make sure they like hedge their bets. They're going to have about 3k, some, even 5k in RPK, they just want to make sure they have a full buy for the first game away. I also want to point out that in the first half when Envy was forced onto an eco and won the round to make it 11-3 to and then 12-3 as opposed to potentially going down 10-5, that could be the difference in this game. Because you take those two rounds away, you win the anti-eco, and we're 12-12. Based on math, I know it's all hypothetical, but just to give you an example of how an early round can come back to haunt you. Slow start for Flash, but they're taking advantage now. 
Attacker, already close to the B site, will be the first to go in. Lovey's just behind, not exactly trade potential towards Scream. A great shot on the Deagle. RPK is going to be a fast as well toward Carson. Carson's got to get those kills. We just pointed out he's been struggling to do so. To lose that battle against a CZ at that range as well, that's a massive problem because now it's the advantage to Envy because the new Scream was in the site. We'll run him down. Oh, open plum. That's brave. RPK did have a slight chance to deny the plum, but now we're two on two. Sixer had some difficult rounds in this game so far, but looking for match point, the spray down comes towards new boxes, needs to do a ton of damage, okay, ready the AWP, can't hit the shot, goes down at 34, can six to be as happy joining him now, good shot, one versus one, happy has to be the saviour, but he can't do it, man, once again, it gets even more uncomfortable, one versus one to find match point. Carsa again, I've got to point it out, losing that round, shot in middle, can't afford to do that, it's lovely left on, on that 10, Carsa as well, just under the wheel. So better weaponry for Envy to work with, as you mentioned, they were sitting back on the partial buy last round and took well advantage of it by breaking down the economy of Flash, it's Carsa to hold off Boiler Window. Case continues to get toward the top of ultimate with the AWP, it's not normally a place you see it early in the round for the T side. Oh. Taken the hallway, down by attacker. One HP, gets away with it. One HP, and Scream goes looking. Corsa, about time, steps up, takes down Scream as well. He'll upgrade to an M4, and they've got two kills. Make that three kills. What is More going on? Sixers gone over at B. The defense are panicking. They're entirely split. One on either side. Bomb's going to head to B. Desperate spray there from Happy down. He goes mad. This is falling apart. They had Mac 10s and Galos into this round of flash game. They completely mopped the floor of Team Envious Summer with the final kill there. Surely this is a. And Flash, the team that wasn't even supposed to be here, the one to do it as well. Not done yet. Pistols only for Envy. Flash needs to continue to be disciplined and win the duels. Attack would be the one naturally to go on the attack. I'm not just saying that for the pun. But because he's been remarkable in this half. Summer as well. He's happy with a Deagle. We've seen him in this position before with a Deagle. We know what he's capable of. Tries to go for the pretty fire on corner, but can't find it. Attacker's well aware that he's there, but wants to slip in and see what else is going on at the B site. And it is a bit of a stack. Three players with oranges one and oranges two occupied. In fact, or just one stacked, excuse me, as XMS is also in that corner. Summer's going to be careful going around. Attacker finds the first kill, but doesn't know that they still have XMS in the corner. They're just trying to find the Summer. Luckily gets zero, but Happy does find one. That's the bomb. Oh, he tags up Summer as well. 14 HP. This is all done. Absolutely. Three versus three, and Flash Gaming are floundering. 50 seconds remaining, RPK dodging the bullets there, and it looks like Sixer might get one, it's actually gonna be happy! Now it's the two versus one, Carson rotating in, hits the shot, one versus one with the in-game leader once again, Happy makes his way towards the bomb site, tucks himself in, finds the AK-47, Carson seems to know where he could be, can he find the killing? Need to keep their heads in the game, they still have the lead, but... Good lord, there's been some close rounds here. This is it now. We go into the very last stage. It's round number 28. It was 12-3 a half. How has this gone down? The weakest team in the tournament. They shouldn't even be here. They brought it last minute to oh, replace Tai Lu. Lovey got caught that time. He sat in the corner a few times and got away with it. But this time it's red bar. The smoke didn't extinguish it right away. So he's back, but he's certainly limping. Case again, I loves this position. Don't know if he's even got a kill from it early on, if I'm honest. But he certainly likes to get there in case they go aggressive in top mid. At least for now, the aggression will resume on Banana. Send Lovey for 37. Get the information off of him at the very least. Well, well, well. Surely it doesn't go to 14-14. I don't think my heart could handle it. Six uh, AWP, that really hasn't been doing much in the second half. But aggressive position and Happy has the option to drop off the flower pot boost. If he can bait them in. With one shot, it would pull them back. They go for the smoke instead. He's going to play passive deep in the site with an op at emo. So Kays waits for three or four seconds there, pulls the trigger towards CD spawn, hoping the orper comes and investigates. That doesn't happen. Now looking towards that boost. 
similar sort of story. 30 seconds remaining. This will be the first wall of smokes I'd imagine towards the bee bomb site. Smoking towards coffins. CT spawn. Molotov said doesn't know they have the Molotov. This will be a very basic play here. They're going to check boots shortly. Happy now ready and waiting. Summer is he sneaking through? Happy I think I heard him. Just spotted him. He's still got the position. The wall goes down. Sixer was a problem. They went tunnel vision toward him and it's going to scream a chance on the flank. XMS there as well. All to attacker. Everyone is bleeding. Nine seconds. And nine seconds is a problem. They're backing off and they know it. Bomb's not going to be planted. Attacker needs to get both kills. As soon as he even gets the one, the second player scream would fall back, but it is mad. Just nothing. I think he's sat over there. But well, yeah. He went not know, know if he's on the right server. Yeah, it's, it's remarkable what a fall from grace he's had. 19 kills, total 22 deaths. But uh, still looking to close things out. AK in hand. To be fair, second highest fragger, but it's the impact of the frags that's lacking. It's just like, you, against Flash Gaming, he should be ravishing this sort of opponent. He should be absolutely bullying them, knocking them out of the server. 16-2. It's just nothing. It's just such a weak envious. Correction, third highest. I didn't see RPK at 21, but you get the point. You're right, he's certainly not had the same dominance you would expect. Happy Sixer, they'll play B. Again, they'll play it with inside of the site. That worked for them last time. Oh, that's a cold. Tentative MBSR, they've lost that flare, they know their round goes against them. This is going to be A as well. Flash has gone B so many times that it's finally gotten shut down. They're going to try and hit A hard. Problem is they've smoked off the arch and they want to go quad. Flash timing is good, but Scream has not got position. No trade potential, though, when they do go, Scream finally steps up. He wants Attacker as well, but he'll go down. An attacker with two equally as good and two HP, mind you. But it's just RPK inside of Pit. Oh, he is alone as well. The doors have been locked, the smokes have been deployed. Sum up, if he hits this shot, it could be round done. RPK got a lot of pressure on his shoulder. The flash is great, RPK steps up, that should be it. Three versus one, attacker can't do it. And finally, Envy has posted a victory here. It's not the cleanest. It's